Hello, I'm the curator and this is today's item. Now, uh, I bought this from a charity shop a little while ago. This is a portable slimline tape recorder, or in German, a Kassettenabspieler, or a ca cassette player, basically. Uh, there it is in English. It's made by a company apparently called Academy uh, Model CP101. Uh, I've looked up said... Um, company and they don't seem to exist at least not anymore I couldn't find out any information about them uh, nor could I find out any information about this they probably you know entered the mar market briefly uh, didn't last long I'm guessing from the designers you know from late 80s early 90s perhaps um, it may seem a bit odd to some uh, that I should uh, bother buying a cassette player, but there's there's sort of twofold reason I wanted to own this. Firstly, um, there are some you know albums and such which only appear on cassette, and I thought it'd be silly not to have a cassette player handy just in case I wanted to listen to them. Or they might have different; these albums might have different versions on cassette. Or I might find an album that I know I want, but I find it in cassette before I find it on CD. You know, reasons like that. Um, secondly, uh, for those who don't know, uh, some earlier computers used to store their programs on cassette tapes, like the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I believe the Commodore 64 did it as well. And I thought this would be the sort of ideal thing for that. It's slimline, it has minimal buttons. Uh, yeah, it's small, it's well built, it's fairly sturdy, I've got the red one, as you can see. Um, it has, to keep its slimliness, I'm guessing, uh, if you're wondering, I'm recording in the daytime, in usual, in, instead of the night time, that's why the light is a bit less yellow. Um, I just wanted to give it a go. Uh, if you like it, do tell me, and I'll keep recording in the daytime, or I'll record in the daytime as well as the night time. Anyway. Uh, play, fast forward and stop. Uh, I believe it says somewhere on here that it has a sort of auto stop and rewind system. Uh, it doesn't say it on there. Oh, it actually says it on the machine itself. Hang on. Let me see if I can make it focus. Uh, I can't. I might play with the focus settings. Give me a moment. There we go. That fixed it. Um, I was recording a thunderstorm the other day, so I had it on um, far away stuff in opposed to close up stuff. Anyway, yes, play fast forward and stop. Auto stop system, Academy. Um, this was basically pretty much new when I bought it. It only opened once. It was still in its uh, bubble wrap packaging, which I've you know, lost in the interim period. Um, it's the sort of texture, not, not texture, it's sort of the uh, type of finish. The plastic is finished in a way that it's really easy to get. Uh, scratches and uh, fingerprints on, but that's not a huge bother. Uh, it takes six double A's, which is certainly more than any other cassette that I've, you know, any cassette player that I've owned. Uh, DC power, volume, that, uh, headphones, nothing on that side, nothing on the back. It really has been incredibly stripped down. Um, so I will use this. Uh, I really need to get myself a ZX Spectrum again. Um, at the time of recording, I've actually bought uh, the, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega, which is sort of a handheld console version of the uh, ZX Spectrum. And uh, I'll do a video about that. But I want to get an actual Spectrum as well, as well as its other versions. Uh, the one I played with most before I had to... Uh, give it away was um, it, it was one with a tape player already inside it uh, I can't remember it was like the plus two or something and that's why I owned it but yeah I'll get this I'll get uh, a Commodore 64 if and when I can uh, I'll get other tape recorder based machiny bobs when I can and uh, if I find any uh, interesting tape uh, items then uh, I'll do videos about them, but yeah, this is just a short little video about this, you know, why I'm getting this, you'll probably see in the future, because I do want to do uh, computers. Uh, I've got a couple of computers that I'm going to do, but I need to wait until I have decent working, and furthermore, I need to wait until I have 
the um, a floppy disk USB floppy disk uh, drive, my Bob, uh, because I can't put uh, the CD drive in one of the computers doesn't work, and the other one it only has uh, it's a portable computer and. Uh, it doesn't have a hard drive as such, it's got two floppy disk drives and one floppy disk drive is for uh, the OS and the other one's for programs that you want to put on. But uh, I will get them working and I'll do videos of them when I can. Uh, but yes, tape player, slimline, it's very quite light, I imagine it will be heavier when uh, I put uh, batteries in it. And um, it had a, a strap. Um, I'm not going to be taking this out, so I've put the strap somewhere for usage elsewhere. Uh, it hasn't got a rubbery feet, it's just got plastic ones, so they would slide about if you put them on the table. But for the use I'm going to use them for, they're probably going to go on the floor. Uh, it's probably going to go on the floor because um, because it will. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? Not really. Um, thank you for watching, and good day to you all.